Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Funko Pop Heroes number 82, the Swamp Thing Previews exclusive. Spot found this at his local comic book store. And I uh, really love the look of Swamp Thing here. I always really like Swamp Thing anyways, but getting a Swamp Thing here in vinyl figure treatment, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. It is a previews, also a previews exclusive. It's number 82 from the Pop Heroes line. Down below, we've got a picture of Swamp Thing in the same sort of treatment as Funko there. Uh, on the side of the package, again, Swamp Thing in the swamp. Who would have thought it? It's number 82, and then on the back, other figures available, number one is Batman, number two, Robin, number three, Batgirl, number uh, six, uh, Joker, number seven, Superman, and number eight, Wonder Woman. And yes, they, it does jump a little bit. They've got like the older released figures, and then here is Swamp Thing at number 82. And then finally, on the underside, you can go to www.funko.com. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the Funko Pop Heroes Swamp Thing final figure. There's more Henny Way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Now that we have Swamp Thing out of packaging, let's get a better look at the figure. Really nice. Got to admit, really, really nice. Now, I may be saying that, of course, because I have a soft spot for Swamp Thing, but all things considered, he's one of the standout characters from the Funko Vinyl figure line. The green, the big popping red eyes that he also is sporting, not to mention the vines that have been painted in on brown. It's quite a nice looking Funko Vinyl figure. Although, although uh, as nice as he is painted on the front, sadly when you start spinning around to the back, he's devoid of a lot of extra paint. It's, it's almost as if they decided that halfway across the figure that, you know, we don't need to paint any bit more, or maybe we d ran out of a budget or something, that looks like all the brown vines abruptly just stop, and they don't carry over. It stops exactly, it almost seems like it stops exactly at the same point all the way down the figure from top to bottom. And then basically just from the back, he's missing. It's sculpted, yes, and I appreciate that, but yeah, it's missing the coloring. I don't know why, but it could have could have been afforded, I think, to at least finish the job. At least finish the job. I guess from, from really that standpoint, this probably would be one of the more unfinished Funko vinyl figures I've seen from Funko, which generally, Funko's really on the ball when it comes to finishing and just giving a good execution of paint, Swamp Thing, unfortunately, is missing it from the back. Uh, as for that, uh, as for the rest of the figure, from what we can see, paint-wise, it looks pretty good. I quite like it. like how there's little leaves and stuff like that in his outfit, little moss. I say outfit, you know, his body. He's very stackshin, as you would expect. Basically, from the shoulders down, there is no possibility to speak of at all. However, as with other vinyl figures go, Swamp Thing's head does rotate all the way around. You can rotate left and right. He roughly has the same sort of proportions as other vinyl figures too. I could have loved to see this guy just a little bit bigger, kind of like some of the deluxe figures that we've seen before. But still, I like, I like the figure a lot. I probably will like him more so looking at him from the front rather than looking at the incomplete, finished, unfinished area that they've left on the back. That's going to be a bit of a mystery to me. At any rate, still a pretty fun collectible. Spot picked this up at his local comic book store, so if you're interested, you can go there. Not my local comic book store, because if you live out in the Antarctic, that's a long trip. That's a long way to go from point A to point B. But if you can find one from your local comic book store, I would really say pick him up, even though he's kind of unfinished from the back. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the Funko Heroes, Funko Pop Heroes, and we were looking today at the previews exclusive Swamp Thing. As always, thanks for watching as you always do, guys. Certainly stay tuned. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.